Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. Uh, today's video is uh, liposomes part one. So totally I am presenting uh, liposomes in uh, three parts. Part one, introduction, structure, types, advantages, disadvantages and applications. Part two, I am presenting a uh, preparation of liposomes. And part three, evaluation of liposomes. So like that I have designed the uh, liposomes. Yeah, here what we are seeing is not the rangoli. It is a liposome structure. Okay, right. And this side, what I am presented here, see the pointer, this is called a rangoli. So instead of putting a, a daily same rangoli, a traditional rangoli, why can't you try with the liposome? Liposome. So from tomorrow onwards, uh, my dear uh, female students, lady students, girls students, okay, from tomorrow onwards, you try to put the liposomes in front of your house instead of regular rangoli and you call the, your neighbors and you explain them, right? And you prove yourself that you are a pharmacist. Okay, right. So this is my mobile app. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Uh, Pharmatrix for exam, same name. Uh, after opening the app, go to the store option. There I am providing all my presentation in the form of PDF. It is nothing but a notes. Need not to be purchased any textbooks, need not to be take Xerox. Okay, and there I am providing all courses, B Form C, Form D, M Form C. Okay, right. And you can be directly view all the PDFs from here. And this is about my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist option in my YouTube channel. Playlists, very, very important playlists. Okay, there I have arranged all my videos in the subject wise. And if you click on the each subject, you will get a topic wise, you will get. Yeah, you can see the syllabus here. Uh, it is uh, introduction to liposomes and their applications, but however, this is completely useful for all B Form C, Form D, okay, M Form C, all branches like that. Yeah. See, actually, liposome structure, uh, we are writing all textbooks they are presenting like this, but most of the students are there and put confusing. Okay. This is a real structure of the liposome, how it looks like. See the green color. It looks like a ball, a round ball shape. You don't use the word of round. See here, whenever you see the definition, whenever you are writing the definition of a liposome, don't use the word of round. Use spherical. Spherical. Spherical means this is a ball shape. This is a round, bangle. This is nothing but a bangle. This is nothing but a spherical or ball. Liposomes are nothing but a ball structure or microscopic. You can see, these are the microscopic. You cannot see. With your naked eye, uh, you can take the sample and how many liposomes are there. You cannot see directly. It, you need a microscope to see. That's why these are the microscopic structures. These are the spherical structure. Don't use the word of round. Okay. Vesicles composed of at least one lipid bilayer. Lipid bilayer. Okay. With aqua spore inside. This is the aqua spore which is present inside. Okay. All this yellow color. What you are uh, observing this, what you are observing, this yellow color, these are the called as a lipid bilayer. Okay, and it is a polar head. This side is polar head, and inside also there was a polar head. See the sections. Okay, this is a white color heads are polar inside as well as outside also polar heads are there. Okay, so how the structure? Polar head, hydropivic tail, again tail, and Head. So, head, tail, tail, head. That is the structure of the liposomes. Okay. These are microscopic. And at least one lipid bilayer. See here, this is a lipid bilayer. Here you can see here one, two, three bilayers are there. Lipid bilayers. So, this is also liposome. Okay. So, this is the general structure of the liposome. If you are taking the cross section, it looks like this. But however, it is very difficult to draw in the examinations and the text textbooks. That's why we are using a simple bangle-like structure like this. Okay. That's why in the textbook, they are presenting as a bangle. But it is actually a spherical shape. Aquascore is present inside. Yeah. This is a liposome. And if you say, if you take this section, this uh, I told, no, polar head, tail, again tail, polar head. If you are taking this membrane, this liposome membrane, you can, you can uh, visualize like this. See, this is a hydrophilic region, hydrophilic heads are there. And here also hydrophilic region, hydrophilic heads are there. In between that, there was a tail and a tail. These are the hydro 
phobic in region. These are the hydrophobic. And if you take the each part of this, see here, see the pointer, each part of this, it is nothing but a phospholipids. This phospholipid consists of a polar head and a hydrophobic, hydrocarbon, hydrophobic chain. Okay, these are, so what are the phospholipids? You may get a doubt, what are the phospholipids? Phospholipids are nothing, see here, you can see the structure here. Why I kept the frog here, amphibian. Amphibian means which lives both in the water as well as on the earth. With, with water also it survives, without water also it survives, okay? So that's why this is called amphibian, which lives in the both. So phospholipids also amphiphilic molecule, which likes the water as well as it likes the lipid also. Phospholipids are the main molecules, building molecules, building blocks of the liposomes. Phospholipid loves the both. It consists of a, uh, it loves the water as well as it loves the lipid. Phospholipid is also called as amphiphilic. See the word amphiphilic, okay? Phospholipid contains the both the two groups of molecules, hydrophilic molecule as well as a, a lipophilic molecule. Okay, right. Yeah, this structure, if you see in detail again, uh, this is a phospholipid monolayer. This is also phospholipid monolayer. These two are combinedly collectively called as a phospholipid bilayer. That's why we are using in the definition at least one, one lipid bilayer. This is a one lipid bilayer. Here you can see one, two, three. Three lipid bilayers you can observe this. This is also liposome. I will explain you different types of liposome. So keep in your mind, mind dear friends. Okay, lateral and uh, uh, vertical interactions between the phospholipids. These structures are very, very important. You have to be right in the, you have to be draw it in the examination. Yeah, we know that these phospholipids are just like a man head and a body like that, head and a tail. There are a, three major phospholipids are there. These are the building blocks of li uh, liposomes. Three are there. Uh, three sorts of phospholipids are exist. First one is phosphatidyl choline in the short form calling as a PC, personal computer, PC, phosphatidyl choline. SM, Spingo, SM Krishna, very popular person. Spingo myelin. Myelin sheet, just like a neuron's myelin sheet, like that you can remember. Myelin sheet is there on the neuron. This is also neuron-like structure. And other phospholipids. What are the other phospholipids? Phosphatidyl, ethanolamine, PE, serine, ionositol, and the glycerol. Very, very important. All these structures and names, without forgetting, you must present in the your uh, regular examination. Yeah. And now we come to the another important point. See. This is a lipid bilayer. In the lipid bilayer, there was a cholesterol also. We are adding a cholesterol. See, why we are adding a cholesterol to the in the preparation of the liposomes? Cholesterol is very, very important here. You can see one cholesterol, here one cholesterol, here one cholesterol, one cholesterol molecule like that. This is a cholesterol structure which consists of a non-polar region as well as a polar region. Cholesterol addition is important to the liposomes. Without the cholesterol, there was no liposomes. Liposomes will not be survived, okay? So what is the role of cholesterol in the liposome? It modulates the packing. It, it makes the very comfortable packing of all phospholipids side by side. Like that it arranges. It maintains the fluidity or flexibility of the layer, lipid bilayer. Flexibility will be there. Fluidity will be there. Okay. It maintains the structural integrity of that. It increases the liposomal stability, very important. Without cholesterol, liposome membrane may easily disrupt, easily break down. Usual cholesterol and phosphatidyl. This phosphatidyl choline is very widely using. Phosphatidyl choline uh, cholesterol ratio is one is to one or two is to one. And polar C, this uh, arranged, how the arrange, arrangement of this uh, cholesterol, very, very important, uh, how the arrangement. See, this is a polar region. This is a uh, sorry non-polar region and a polar region. This round shape, round shape polar region is also towards the head. Here also round shape polar region is towards the head also head. Okay, like that uh, you 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 can arrange this. Okay, whenever you are drawing like that, you can be remember and you can yeah. Types of liposomes classification and their sizes. 
first one is a suv suv means a small small unilamellar only one lipid bilayer is there lamellar we are calling it as also lamellar unilamellar one lamellar that is one lipid bilayer and a small in size vesicles these are all calling as a vesicle and a large this is the size is large see 100 nanometer is there luv 100 to 250 or 600 to 300 nanometers are there this range luv large unilamellar vesicle giant this is a very big size not large giant okay giant wheel like in the exhibitions and all giant giant unilamellar vesicles and oligolamellar vesicles see here oligo means small and multi layers are there okay it is a small only it is equal to large ulv size and as well as a multi lamellar vesicles number of bilayers are there this is multi lamellar but however you can see multi vesicular vehicles this is all number of unilamellar vehicles placed in the giant uh, uh, lamellar okay so you can call it as uh, there is a lot of difference this is also uh, this is multi lamellar here also number of liposomes you can be find in the mbb also but you have uh, all these uh, sizes classifications abbreviations names are very very important it's more than enough in your examination liposomes advantages means first of all entrapment of hydrophilic drugs because we know that at the center part there is a hydrous water aqueous all these are uh, aqueous since the water is in blue color i am represented here i represented all these things in the blue color so all these blue color are heads so inside that all blue color head it is a aqueous pore so that this uh, hydrophilic drug see here this hydrophilic drugs we can be placed easily inside okay so accommodation of hydrophilic drugs in the in the core part okay and the entrapment of hydrophobic drug also even your drug is hydrophilic in nature or hydrophobic in nature whatever it may be we can place here see here hydrophobic drugs which hates the water which loves the lipid you can place like this so you can prepare sub separately or in the same liposome you can load the hydrophilic as well as the hydrophobic in the same liposome okay so uh, you can be either combinedly or separately you can be in the same see some companies they are preparing a liposome which consists of only hydrophilic and some companies they are preparing a liposomes which consists of only hydrophobic drug whereas uh, some intelligent companies they are combining the two drugs combinational therapy uh, in the single liposome itself they will place they will accommodate the both hydrophilic as well as uh, hydrophobic that is uh, one of the biggest advantage of the liposome entrapment of crystallized drugs also see this is a crystallized drug you can see here crystallized drug also you can be placed at the center and the dna rna proteins peptides genes chromosomes biotechnological products also you can be placed inside and you can be used to deliver the dna into the human body also entrapment of positively charged and negatively charged drug molecules and you can design for targeted drug delivery system like ligand see here ligand this ligand you can be arranged so that it go and binds with a specific target cell specific binding specific targeted tissue or specific binding site okay uh, these liposomes you can be designed to modify the drug release you want controlled release you want slow release uh, that also you can be modified as per your needs and it is mainly made up of a natural all these phospholipids uh polar heads all these are the cholesterol are are the natural ingredients which is uh, it is nothing but a cell in our cell there is a lipid bilayer structure is there and however there are some disadvantages also chances of a drug leakage is there whenever you are not transporting you are not storing properly see here inside drug is uh, coming outside that is a leakage okay leakage whenever you are transporting liposomes from one place to another place are you not storing in a proper temperature there was a problem of a drug leakage chances of fusion of suv into uh, lbu see here small small uh, lamellar uh, vesicles combined to there may be a chance both fuse together because this is also water this is also water groups are outside there may be a chance so hemi fuse fully fuse hemi fuse means layer layer matched see here and it is a fully fused and it will it will become a large unilamellar vesicle and oxidation of uh, phospholipids chances is there hydrolysis of phospholipids is also another chance susceptible to reject a defense system macrophages 
macro pages may eat this. Sometimes it may diffuse. That depends upon the life. Short to half life, higher uh, uh, higher physical instability on the storage. If you are storing for a long time liposome, it was very big problem. So don't do that. So one year. So that's why duration time is also less. Uh, man, uh, expiry date is also less. Six months or one year like that. If you are uh, because storage problem is there. And susceptible to rapid clearage from the blood and a high production cost. Okay, here it is susceptible to uh, not reject. It is. It may be susceptible to taken or eaten by the um, uh, macrophages. So macrophages will think that all these liposomes are uh, um, uh, foreign bodies and uh, foreign bodies are antigens. It feels that and it starts eating of it. Okay. And uh, applications uh, we are using for the penetrate uh, see here adjuvants in the vaccination very very important we are using as a biotechnological products okay very adjuvant in the vaccination increased efficacy of the treatment reduces the unwanted toxic effects we are reducing to the healthy tissues for example drugs we are using for the cancer like a peclitoxil injection are very toxic to the normal tissues and the normal uh, body healthy tissues. So that's why this toxicity can be reduced. See, uh, that's why here I put uh, armor. It can be banned by that. And uh, signal enhancers, okay, it enhances the signal. It enhances the carrier in the medical diagnostic purpose also, okay. And you can be used in the cosmetics also for the penetration, faster penetration of your cosmetic ingredients inside to the skin, okay. Right. So I'll end my session here. Uh,